particular were that following the 2012 um, presidential election, which ended up in court, and after the, the judgment, the Supreme Court made some recommendations for the Electoral Commission to follow. What the Electoral Commission did was to not just restrict itself to the recommendations made by the Supreme Court, but to set up an electoral reform committee that had members of civil society and the political parties represented to look at the entire electoral system and come up with reforms that would help to strengthen our processes and improve the integrity mechanisms within our electoral process. That, we do not believe that when it comes to the process, that there's any cause for concern, that there's any cause for worry that, that we are not ready for December 7th, we are ready. Um, one of the reasons why we had to go to the Supreme Court to bring finality to the disputes over the nominations process was basically to ensure that we meet the November 7th deadline. Otherwise, we would have still had several um, certain suits at the high court level, and when they are overturned, the parties still, would still have the benefit, assuming it was ruled against them, to go to the Court of Appeal and then to the Supreme Court. And so we decided that in the interest of the electoral process and to save the calendar and the nation's constitutional order, it is better that we go to take one of those judgments, go to the Supreme Court, get an order which comprehensively would cover all the other suits and bring finality to the process. As the body mandated to manage elections, we are committed fully to always following the law as we understand it. If a court brings a different appreciation of the law, we would obey that. It is our duty to obey the law. And we've had so many suits this year. Some of the courts have upheld our position and we've continued with the process. In others where aspects of the rulings have gone against us, we have complied with the court process expeditiously and to the best of our ability.